There is a literal smorgasbord of smoking gun ancient architectural anomalies which dot the Peruvian hillsides literally thousands of miles of ruins. With ancient trails stretching far into South America and much farther afield, the largest known ancient artifact ever found is, in fact, a trail just like this. Yet the structures they built still stand as a testament to their creator's abilities, which were indicative of an ancient civilization with abilities and knowledge that mainstream academia seems hellbent in its reluctance to even consider the possibility of their existence. It refuses to even discuss the topic, regardless of the fact that these buildings were made by people who were members of advanced ancient civilizations that somehow became lost within history, possibly during a near-extinction-level event. Yet I digress. Our reason for the digression is an intriguing, if limited, post we came across recently, discussing one of the most remarkable, if little-mentioned additions to the most miraculous factors of the ancient Peruvian architecture, most notably its polygonal masonry, which has allowed it to be earthquake-proof for untold ages. Its keying stones, featured in the article, allowing these ruins to just brush off earthquakes, such as the 7.7 on the Richter scale quake that hit Peru in 1950. As mentioned, it was a curious article, and the reason for our fascination and surprise in its existence was the institution responsible for its printing. It would seem in a brazen move just casually covered advanced technology, i.e. keying stones, the institution in question was Cambridge University. Coined as mechanical keying, the article does indeed begin with explaining the stone's miraculous placement and thus their ability to brush off natural disasters, yet predictably just drifts off into another subject without ever attempting to answer the obvious. That being, if these locations were built by the civilizations in which academia, and we should say especially Cambridge agrees, were a primitive people with a primitive knowledge of stone architecture and primitive tools, how did they not only create these keying stones, but the seemingly perfectly cut stones which make up the famous polygonal stonework of ancient Peru? Not to mention the multi-layered megalithic fortress of Sacsayhuaman, clearly created by those who built Machu Picchu. But the enormity of the stones they used, and the possible reason for this, seems too deliberate for it to not have been indicative of some warning. Yet regardless, of each side in particular, their keying stones are a remarkable legacy of a lost civilization, one which we find incredibly compelling.